I'm an addict for sneakers. Here we go. I got them in hand. The Air Jordan 1 Wheats. That will be releasing really soon. This is an official pair from Jordan Brand. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and hit the bell so you're notified. You'll be one of the first to watch the next video. I personally think these are really nice. If you like them in video, you're going to love them in hand. Let's get up close. You can see that suede looking really nice. Rope laces, which is an interesting touch. There's a look at the side panel with your swoosh and your wings logo right there on the back check it out you can see that suede nicey nicey nice and nice quick look at the medial side as far as the fit to air jordan ones i like to go true to size if i can't get them my size i usually will go down half a size before going up half a size so that's my opinion on sizing. Go true to size. Don't go up half a size unless you absolutely need these shoes in your life. You can't find your size. And if you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. Quick look at the outsole. All gummed out. Looking dope. Love it. With your Nike branding in the middle. Bird's eye view on the toe going up. As you can see the rope laces. That nylon tongue. Your tag in suede up top. Beautiful. Bird's eye view looking in. There's your branding. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think of this shoe right here. You love them. You hate them. Are they meh? As some people like to say. Oh, that word bothers me so much. Meh. M-E-H. I don't know why, but it does. But uh, let me know what you think of these. Hot or not. Leave it in the comment box below. And also let me know if you think these are going to sell well. I personally think they will sell very well. They should fly off the shelves. That's my opinion. I know a lot of Jordans are sitting, but I think that these will do pretty good. The sneakerratic.com, that's my blog. I will post information on finding these shoes the eve of the release, and I will update it right before they release in the morning. So go to the blog at night, and then go to the blog in the morning around 9.30 Eastern Standard Time to help you out. That's what the blog's for. It's for you, 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 and you. So definitely check it out, the sneakeraddict.com. Pick up my Sneaker Addict t-shirts. They fit true to size. They will be linked in the description box below. Available now in long sleeve too. I'm going to hit you with a bonus video. Some of it. And if you enjoy it, watch the rest of it. It will be linked at the end. My top 10 most hype shoes I own. Enjoy. Welcome to a brand enjoy. new episode. Enjoy. This is going to be my top 5 most hyped shoes that I own. No particular order. Starting with... The Galaxy Phone Posit. Now, this shoe was so damn hyped that it caused basically riots, and they had to actually shut down all the stores that were selling these. I think a few of them were managed to sell the shoe in stores, but for the most part, it sold online because people were just going crazy about these shoes, and they had to shut it down, man. At one point, police were everywhere. I think at one city, they actually had the National Guards because of this sneaker right here. So this definitely had to make the list. The Galaxy Phone Posit, an amazing, amazing pair of shoes, and really set off so much hype. I mean, it really set off a lot of hype. And keeping it with the phone posit family, the Supreme phone posit one, they weren't even able to sell these at the Supreme store. They had to shut it down. Once again, the police came, shut it down because it was just out of hand. Too many people in the streets. And this was a very, very hyped pair of shoes right here. Definitely something that I grew to really dig. I love the colorway. They look amazing on feet, and I highly recommend them. I actually like this colorway better than the black colorway. Let me know which one you like, though. You like this colorway or the black colorway better? Leave that in the comment box. Of course, the Yeezys, the Red October. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This was just... 
Just, this took o this took over the sneaker world for a hot minute, man. I mean, this is an amazing sneaker. Looks fantastic, but the way they released it was just so left field. Just out of nowhere, they released them, and some of us were lucky enough to get our hands on them. The craftsmanship could have been a lot better. A lot of pairs are pretty shitty as far as the glue marks and everything, but for the most part, it's an amazing pair of sneakers. They look so great on feet, so this had to make the list. And these also will make the list and the pure platinum. This is going to be a top 10, obviously. I'm, there's no way I'm showing less than 10 shoes. But um, this shoe right here had to make the list. And it is amazing. This colorway and the pure platinums. I scored both of them at once on mid at midnight. They released, I think, actually a little before midnight. I'm pretty sure the Cavs were playing the Boston Celtics and then Manny Pacquiao had a fight that night and me and my wife were sitting on the computer waiting and waiting and waiting and I even had a 20% discount code so I was able to get these for under retail I got this pair on my computer my girl got the pure platinums on her computer we scored both of them when they released insane right I mean absolutely insane Another hype shoe were the OVO 10s. I mean, you know, it's a nice pair of kicks. I like the other colorway better. <sighs> do I have the other colorway around me? I don't, but I do have that sneaker. I definitely do have it. But um, either or, OVO colorways are super hyped. And uh, not much of a story behind it. I, you know, I lucked out online and that's that. <laughs> The next shoe I'm going to show is a shoe that really created a lot of the hype with Jordans. It really brought back the just the madness with people reselling and everything. So I'm going to show you these, the Concords. When this one released, the last time it retroed, it really caused like a frenzy and people were going crazy. I had so many people from high school that were never into sneakers that were hitting me up. Yo, I got to get those again. So there was a lot of just like casual consumers that were into this sneaker along with resellers that knew they could cash in because people were ready to pay whatever for these shoes. There was a lot of violence that occurred occurred i even had um i forgot what news network but some news network hit. lines have been long at shoe stores today as sneaker fans try to snatch up the new retro air jordans crowds are unruly in indianapolis seattle and outside san francisco where abc's jenna lane says a gun went off at one point richmond police say they arrested one man 24 years old for what might have been an accidental discharge of his gun in the parking lot of the hilltop mall in richmond this is as Richmond police were providing extra security because 1,500 to 2,000 people were waiting in line to buy the new Jordan shoes. 2,000 people waiting in line to buy tennis shoes? ABC's Alex Stone talked to one man who owns over 400 pairs of sneakers. It's a phenomenon Nike is able to take to the bank. The new shoes cost 180 bucks a pop. DJ Dells runs the sneakeraddict.com. He believes pop culture is driving this craze. He says for older folks, it brings them back to when they were kids. Then you have young kids that just want to look good and, and, and wear the, the hottest sneaker that's out. Some are buying to resell them to make money on eBay right now. The Air Jordan 11s are selling for over 400 bucks. Alex Stone, ABC News craziness i mean it was absolute craziness where i had a news company hit me up for an interview and my thoughts on the whole situation this really caused a lot of like craziness violence and you can't blame the sneaker you got to blame us humans for not knowing how to act some of us at least let's act properly people like come on <laughs> they're just sneakers of course, I got to show you the Yeezys, super hype shoe, people have been going nuts. I have these, I have the turtle doves, and I wasn't able to get any other of the colorways. I wasn't able to get the 750s or any of the other ones, the V2s. Um, I'm happy with what I got, but I really liked some of the V2s, like the ones with the bright color right here. Uh, no luck getting them, but these were very, very hyped, and people were going crazy for them. They were reselling for a lot of money, and... Yeezys are beginning to slow down as far as the resale, but still a super popular and hyped up sneaker. You wear them, people are breaking their necks, <laughs> going nuts. Oh my god, you are rocking the Yeezys. Da, 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 da. You already know what time it is if you own these and you wear these. So um, this definitely has to make the list, the Yeezys. My number one sneaker that's the most hype sneaker I own 
are the M&M Tooth. Now this shoe only released online and it was an old website. I think it was Jumpman23.com. It was something like that. It was a Jordan exclusive site. Once in a while, they would release exclusives. Eminem had a book, The Way I Am. And to celebrate the book, they released these shoes. 313 pairs. That is, that is his area code, 313. So the whole deal was with this shoe. Celebrating the book. 313 pairs, The lyric, some of his lyrics written all over the shoe, and his favorite Jordan was the Jordan 2, so he picked this model to be the sneaker that he wanted to create this with, as you can see, he got cool stuff going on on the back, he got the E. I mean, shit's so I mean, shit's so I mean,